What's up, everybody? Happy Monday. We are back, and we've got some new supplies. So, over the weekend, a couple people reached out to me. One was Bill Kaufman, and one was my cousin Lisa. And they both uh, threw an idea out there for some kind of stuffed pepper recipe. So, Bill had one with uh, for chip steak, which unfortunately I couldn't find. So, Bill, that will be for another day. My cousin Lisa gave me an idea for one you can do with some ground beef. So that's what we're going to do tonight. So I got some ground chuck. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to brown the beef for about eight minutes or so and then start incorporating everything else. So what I have is the last of that jambalaya rice from earlier this week. I got some diced onions. Uh, my cousin Lisa recommended using taco seasoning. I didn't have that, so I got to go chopped on this one. So I got some, some chili powder, some salt, some pepper, a little bit of paprika, a little bit of cayenne. So I'm going to start the, uh, the beef right now, then I'm going to talk about the peppers. So for getting uh, the beef browned, what I like to do is get a little bit of crust on there. So I'll tell you my method, a couple things. Let the pan get hot. And before you start with the beef, I would take it out of the fridge and let it come up to room temperature. It just seems to cook a little bit more evenly that way. So some people, you know, you get the spatula going, you just want to work with it constantly. To get the crust going, what I would do is the first two or three minutes, just kind of get it flat, but kind of leave it alone. Let some crust build up. And then later on, when we start incorporating everything else, you can start to mix it a little bit. So just kind of let it alone and let some crust build. So I've already diced and hollowed out my bell peppers. They're pretty big, so what you do is just cut the tops off and you just pull out all them seeds and you got a nice little pocket for your food when we're ready to go. So I'm going to let that crust build and then once we flip it, I'm going to incorporate those onions, that rice. Again, I didn't have taco seasoning, so I'm going to add a little bit of salsa. Never too much spice, so I'm going to do a little bit of sriracha. And we're going to add a little bit of that uh, grated pecorino romano. And then when you incorporate all these things for, again, about 8 to 10 minutes, what you're going to do, you're going to stuff these babies up, and you're going to put it in your oven for anywhere from 350 to 375. Cook it for about 45 to 50 minutes, depending on how hot your oven is. And for whatever time or whatever temperature you're cooking, the last 10 minutes, open the oven door and top these with some shredded cheese. And that's it. Um, again, the biggest takeaway from this video is let some crust build when you're making your ground beef. So I'll throw a picture of this up when this is done. I hope everyone's doing well. And I think tomorrow we're going back to the skillet for some chicken and drumsticks with hopefully some potatoes if I can find some. All right, everybody. Be good.